Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. On this occasion, take a little time to listen to increase our knowledge to recognize the struggle of Muslims in expanding Islamic teachings to our present era, that Islam has had its glory in various predecessors, ranging from religion, politics, philosophy, geography, medicine, and others. Other. All knowledge is collected and distributed throughout the world. Starting from the name, the Umayyad Caliphate, Arabic, al khalifa al-Umayyah, or the Umayyad dynasty was the second Islamic caliphate after the dissolution of the Rashidun Caliphate on the Arabian Peninsula. The second Umayyad Caliphate had its capital in Damascus. And from 756 to 929 as the Emirate of Cordoba, Amara Kurthaba, and continued as the Caliphate of Cordoba, 929 to 1031 AD, Cordoba, Spain. The name of this dynasty is referred to Umayyad bin Abdu Shams, the great-grandfather of the first Umayyad Caliph, namely Muawiyah bin Abu Sufyan or sometimes also called Muawiyah I. The founding of the Umayyad dynasty began at the end of the reign of Caliphate Rasidun. After Uthman died because he was murdered, Ali's friend finally replaced him to become the next leader. However, during his reign, there was a lot of chaos. Muawiyah was one of those who urged that Uthman's killer be found immediately. However, for Caliph Ali, this is not an easy thing to do at this time. Until a conflict occurred between the two which led to the Shifan War. The Shifan War ended with an agreement or talking. Unfortunately, this actually led to the division of several camps such as the Khawarij, Shiites, and Muawiyah. Not long after this event, Caliph Ali was also killed, and this marked the end of Khulafur Rizayadun's leadership. After Caliph Ali died, leadership was continued by his son, Hassan. However, to resolve the feud between the camps, Hassan finally chose to step down and hand over leadership to Muawiyah. This was the beginning of the formation of the Umayyad dynasty, with its first leader, Muawiyah. The glory of the Umayyad dynasty, the Umayyad dynasty made many contributions to the advancement of Islam. Since the end of the leadership of the Rizayid in Khulafur, namely, in 41 Hydra or 661 AD, the Umayyad dynasty held leadership of the Muslim community. The expansion of Islamic power, development and development of science are proof that this dynasty was once victorious. Several caliphs from this dynasty have distinguished historical records. There are at least four known great caliphs, namely Muawiyah bin Abu Sufyan as the founder of the dynasty, Abdul Malik bin Marwan, Al-Walid bin Abdul Malik, and Umar bin Abdul Aziz. The following are the advances made by the four caliphs that we have managed to collect from historical records. 1. Muawiyah bin Abu Sufyan as the founder of the Umayyad dynasty, Muawiyah was known as Muawiyah I. He ruled this dynasty from 41 Hydra to 60 Hydra or 661 to 680 AD. Some of the major policies that have been implemented and are widely known are as follows, moving the country's capital from the city of Kufa, Iraq to Damascus, Syria, replacing the Rashid and Khulafur Caliphate system which appointed the caliph based on Muslim deliberation to a kingdom which inherited leadership based on lineage, printing means of exchange for payment or money, established a postal service to deliver goods. This service was equipped with special officials in their positions and horses in certain places as a means of transportation. Ownership of property by the people is transferred to belong to Allah, which will later be used for the benefit of the state and the people, providing space for Christians who are experts in their fields to be involved in economic, scientific, and pharmaceutical development projects. An idea like this was previously rejected during the time of Caliph Umar bin Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, out of caution. Establish a military intelligence agency to monitor the military strength of other countries. Establishing a civil registration service position to make it easier to coordinate state civil affairs. 2. 
Abdul Malik bin Marwan as the fifth caliph, Abdul Malik bin Marwan led the Umayyad dynasty from 65 to 86 Hijra, or 684 to 705 AD. The following are the major achievements he has made, printing your own currency, with Arabic letters written on it. This step was taken to replace the currency printed by the Roman Empire and the Persian Empire in areas that had been controlled by Islam. Established a ship factory in Tunisia to strengthen naval power. Forming a special court to handle government employees and royal aides who commit errors. Improving the work system of the postal service by increasing the number of postal expeditions so that the work system is more organized and reliable. Erect beautiful and majestic buildings in the country. 3. Al-Walid bin Abdul Malik as the sixth caliph. Al-Walid bin Abdul Malik was nicknamed Al-Walid I. He ruled the Umayyad dynasty in 86 to 96 Hydra or 705 to 714 AD. During the time of Al-Walid bin Abdul Malik, the Umayyad dynasty recorded its peak of glory. The following are the innovations he has carried out so that he was able to bring his dynasty to the peak of glory, providing teaching staff for orphan children, elderly people who have no friends to live with, orphan children, and travelers received special attention during this reign. This is because Al-Walid I built nursing homes, orphanages, and halfway houses. People with disabilities are provided with special homes so that they can develop themselves, despite their limitations. Special lakes were built for travelers so they wouldn't get thirsty. Al-Quran memorizers, clerics, the poor and the weak receive a fixed subsidy. Providing walking guides for the blind. Royal employees during the time of Al-Walid I were strictly selected. Only those who are clever, clever and have integrity are accepted. Established factories and government buildings. Build a special hospital for lepers. Establish free hospitals and clinics for sick people. Renovating the Prophet's Mosque in Medina and the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Palestine. Roads have been repaired and equipped with markings to make it easier for road users to use the road. 4. Umar bin Abdulaziz Caliph Umar bin Abdulaziz was nicknamed Umar II because he was related by blood to Caliph Umar bin Khattab. From his mother's side, Umar bin Abdulaziz is the great-grandson of the main friend of the Prophet Muhammad, Sa. Not only close to blood ties, Umar bin Abdulaziz's piety is also not much different from his predecessors. He is careful about the world, cares about the propagation of Islam, is gentle towards the weak, hard against all forms of cheating, and passionate about studying religion. These are the reasons that raised his status before Allah, so that his name became legendary, even though the peak glory of the Umayyad dynasty did not occur in his era. He was known as a scholar and scientist, before being appointed caliph. The people and Islamic leaders loved him before he sat in government. So when the announcement reached all corners of the country, everyone rejoiced, except the corrupt officials. There are many things he has done for Islam and its dynasty. Some of them are Returning property to its owner During the founding of the dynasty, private property ownership was not recognized. The number of followers of Islam increased rapidly without having to invade many other countries. He uses a lot of diplomacy. The execution of punishment must be carried out according to the caliph's consent. Eradicating poverty in an instant to the point that no resident of Medina was entitled to receive zakat. Sending preachers throughout the country. Apart from the five points above, there are still many achievements that have been recorded by Umar bin Abdulaziz. The country was truly prosperous at that time. Unfortunately, his leadership only lasted three years because Allah took him to return to his grace. He died because he was poisoned by a royal servant. However, after being caught, the maid was released and ordered to go into exile so as not to be punished by the state. He left his family with little wealth because he felt he had no right to it all. The split occurred during the caliphate of Marwan bin Muhammad. His leadership marked the end of the Umayyads in Damascus. His power was defeated by Abu al-Abbas al-Safa in a battle on the Zab River. In the war, more than 300 members of the Umayyad family were killed. As a result, Marwan bin Muhammad fled to seek protection. He fled to the west but was caught in the Nile River.
The death of Marwan bin Muhammad brought the Umayyad rule in Damascus to an end. There were several factors that caused the Umayyad dynasty to become weak and led it to destruction. These factors include The system of changing caliphs through lineage is something new for the Arab tradition which places more emphasis on seniority. The settings are not clear. This lack of clarity in the caliph succession system has led to unhealthy competition among members of the royal family. The background to the formation of the Umayyad dynasty cannot be separated from the political conflicts that occurred during Ali's time. The remnants of the Shiites, Ali's followers, and the Khawarij continued to be opposition movements, both openly as in the early and late times and hidden as in the middle period of the Umayyad rule. The crackdown on these movements took up a lot of the government's strength. During the reign of the Umayyads, the ethnic conflict between the tribes of North Arabia, Bani Qays, and South Arabia, Bani Kalb, which had existed since pre-Islamic times, became increasingly sharp. This dispute resulted in the Umayyad rulers having difficulty in promoting unity and unity. Apart from that, most of the Ma'ali, non-Arab, groups, especially in Iraq and other eastern regions, felt dissatisfied because the Ma'ali status represented inferiority, coupled with the arrogance of the Arabs shown during the Umayyad era. The weakness of the Umayyad sovereign government was also caused by the attitude of living in luxury in the palace environment so that the children of the caliph were unable to carry the heavy burden of statehood when they inherited power. Apart from that, many religious groups are disappointed because the authorities pay very little attention to religious development. The direct cause of the overthrow of the Umayyad dynasty was the emergence of a new power spearheaded by the descendants of al Abbas ibn Abd al Muthalib. This movement received full support from the Bani Hashim and the Shiite groups, and the Ma'ali who felt they were being treated as second class by the Umayyad government. It turns out it didn't stop there. When it was thought that the entire Umayyad family had been killed in the war, it turned out that one person managed to escape. Who is he? Well, his name is Abd Aurman bin Muawiyah. He fled to Spain, Andalusia. There, Islamic government was re-established. Now, if you are curious about the continuation of the Umayyads in Andalusia, you can follow our video. That's it for our historical discussion in this video. Hopefully our knowledge is useful for ourselves and for others. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.